Wells Fargo's letter provided to SFERS on April 10, 2013, states that Wells Fargo has 25,000 mortgage holders in San Francisco, 98% of whom are current on their mortgages or have missed only one payment, unquote. However, this does not take into account how many prior Wells Fargo mortgage holders have already lost their homes due to Wells Fargo's predatory and discriminatory lending policies. Nor does it account for the 2% or 500 households that Wells Fargo currently counts as delinquent and therefore facing foreclosure and eviction in San Francisco. Wells Fargo writes, quote, since 2009, for every one customer that has gone to foreclosure sale, we have helped or are in the process of helping three others through modifications or other workout options, unquote. What does Wells Fargo mean by, quote, other workout options, unquote? In the information Wells Fargo provides on page two, that seems to mean a short sale or a deed in lieu of foreclosure by which homeowners still lose their homes and any future equity or appreciation in their property. What does Wells Fargo mean by, quote, in the process of helping, unquote? Does that mean that those homeowners may still end up at a foreclosure auction if the process doesn't work? Wells Fargo writes, quote, when customers choose to work with us, we help seven of 10 avoid foreclosure. Three seconds. Unquote. Well, what about the other three in 10? They presumably go to, into foreclosure. Wells Fargo seems to confirm ACE's statement that Wells Fargo is number one, not only in loan originations in San Francisco, but also in foreclosures and related evictions. <laughs> 